General, Commander in Chief Golden Mask. We've now come to the last and longest story arc in the entire manga. I tell you, it's gonna be. Come in! Hey, Quentin! Oh, hey, Kaladu, Shigeru. What brings you here? Well, we're just here to remind you that Momoko and Dexter are to be married this Friday. Alright! I almost forgot about that! <laughs> Man, I can still remember the day I met Miyako. Oh, really? Tell us about it! It was my second day in Animation Land. I had just helped the famous Himitsu Sentai Goranger annihilate Gold Mask a member of the Black Cross Army who killed my family the previous day. I received a letter from a girl named Miyako Gogokuji. She was inviting me to meet her at the snack shop gun. Wow, I guess avenging your family just wasn't enough. Oh, it definitely wasn't. That's why I joined forces with the Go Rangers in the first place the previous day. I wouldn't stop until the Black Cross Army was extinct. Well, we helped you make sure of that. Anyway, continue. Once I reached the snack shop gun, I gazed upon Miyako and was nearly aroused. She had beautiful blonde hair with two buttons tied in blue circular hair accessories, a cute 50s outfit with an even cuter blue miniskirt, enchanting white cuff socks, and mesmerizing black Mary Jane shoes! Oh, you're into miniskirts, cuff socks, and Mary Janes, huh? Yeah. Anyway, it turns out Miyako also had an experience with the Black Cross Army. Her parents were killed by a samurai monster named Warrior Mask. Yeah, because of that, Momoko, Miyako, and I had to evacuate Gotokoji Manor and live in a nice little condo in downtown Cerulean City. Anyway, it turns out Miyako was the same kind of warrior as me. With her help, I helped the Go Rangers take down Warrior Mask. Miyako then joined forces with me and the Go Rangers. Needless to say, we became the best of friends. I guess it went from there, huh? Oh, yes. Miyako and I soon gained some allies in the form of her two older sisters and the main six. Oh, yeah. I wonder how they're doing. Beats me. Anyway, these allies helped the Go-Rangers, Miyako, and I annihilate the entire Black Cross Army. During our mission, Miyako and I gradually got close together until Miyako competed in an Animation Land's first annual princess contest and won. I realized that day that Miyako and I were simply meant to be. I can actually remember when you came over to spend a night with us. We were watching The Lion King on VHS. When Can You Feel What Tonight started playing, you and Miyako were smooching up a storm! Oh yeah, our first kiss. Anyway, after we annihilated the Black Cross Army for good, I resurrected our fallen friends, as well as our families. Funny thing, I was originally planning on staying here in Animation Land until we exterminated the Black Cross Army, but after resurrecting my family, I decided to stay here in case another villainous organization attacked. Well, you made a great choice. And just a few weeks ago, I obtained a new set of allies in the form of the Jackers, who were all helping take on crime. That was when you met my two younger brothers and me. Oh yeah. Well, we have four days left before Momoko and Dexter get married, and I'm actually looking forward to it. Wonder when you and Miyako will get married. Beats me. Oh well, I'm sure that'll come around eventually. Well, now that you, Miyako, Momoko, Kaoru, Takashi, Koji, and I have formed a de facto League of Power Puffs, we should have an easier time exterminating crime. Here's hoping, because we don't know a whole lot about them yet. Well, let's try to find some more information about them soon. Okay, see you around. Hey, thanks for coming down. I hope we find some more information on crime in the future. Stop by whenever they attack, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This prank 
Kingdom is a production of Quetzal Quano Entertainment. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.